in the absence of light, darkness holds sway. But when light penetrates the atmosphere, every iota of darkness vamos under compulsion. It is automatic. No negotiation is needed. Light is the only key that can turn out darkness, turn off darkness, and give darkness a chase. Alright. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the openings of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Today we'll be considering a topic, how to get beauty instead of ashes. How to get beauty for ashes instead of being a zero of to becoming a hero, instead of facing shame to suddenly get fame. These are the things we will be discussing this morning. God helping us. The prophet said something here. He said, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to preach. Good tidings unto the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn in Zion, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy, how to get the oil of joy for mourning, how to get the garment of praise instead of the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the tree of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. How to get beauty instead of ashes, how to get fame instead of shame, instead of zero, but getting the status of an hero. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous runs into it, and they are safe. I will be discussing this topic just on three, on three levels, three points. Three points on how to turn your life from the status of ashes to the status of the beautiful one. Beautiful ashes, from zero to hero. From shame to fame, from nothing to something, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To every change of level, there must be a change of thinking. For our life to matter, we must shift our thinking process. We must step up our mental capacity. We must embrace the one that can give us the needed change. How to get beauty instead of ashes. It is my desire that after listening to this 
message after listening to this broadcast you would have been equipped on how to improve your life how to change your trajectory how to move your life from the present state and status to the next level to the next altitude don't forget your attitude will go a long way in determining your altitude. Beautiful ashes. And they shall build the old waste. They shall raise up the former desolations. And they shall repair the waste cities, the desolation of many generations. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks. And the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. How to step up your life from from ashes to beauty? How to get beauty for ashes? Beauty for ashes. But ye shall be named the priest of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentile, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. Behold, the Lord's end is not shortened that it cannot save, neither is ear heavy that he cannot hear us. <clears throat> I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, He is my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He took my feet from a merry clay. Place it upon a solid rock and establish my going. My God. So, for every change of status, there must be a change of mind. If you want to move your life from the status of ashes to the level of beauty, you have to be determined. To change your life. There must be a hunger. There must be a determination. There must be a panting in your heart. You must be discontent with the level at which you are operating. There must be a hunger. There must be this, this persistence desire to change. Desire to experience change. Everything depends on what you are panting after. It is written... As the heart panted after words, so my soul panted after thee. It is very instrumental to listen to the answer of Peter. At a time, Jesus asked Peter, He said, Peter, will you also leave me like the other ones? And Peter told him, He said, Look, there is, the issue of leaving you does not arise. If I leave you, where else can I go? Only you have the word of life. It means you have to embrace the one that have the word of life if you've not done that. A child that is not born has no future. For any child to talk of future, destiny or change of life, this child must be born first into the heart before he can think of destiny of or, or future. So you must first of all accept a man be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. To see the kingdom of God, that is beauty for ashes you must be born again you must know the lord you must know the light then you can be connected to the father to god be the glory great thing he has done he has opened the life gates that all may go in to them that believe in me Then they will see the Father. I have the key of David. Whatever door I open, no, no man can shut. Whatever door I shut, no man can open. You have to embrace this man that said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. I'm the door. No one can enter except through me. That is the beginning of changing your life from the level of ashes to the level of beauty. That is the first step. 
Embrace the one that knows the road. I am the way, the truth, and the life. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I should have told you. But now I go to the father. So that where I am, you too will be, could be there. Will be there. Embrace the owner of the road. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Learn of me, because I'm meek and lonely in heart. My body is light, my yoke is easy. Beat your plowshare into sword, and your prony hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, He is my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. I can speak boldly to you now because I know the owner of the road. I know the one that have the key of David, that nobody can shut the door that he, that he, has, he, he has opened, that no man can open the door that he has shut. I, that is why I can speak boldly to you like this because I know the owner of the road. I know that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, that the righteous runs into it. I know that the name of the Lord is a hiding place. I know that when the enemy shall come in like flood, the spirit of the living God will lift up a standard against them. I know. Knowledge brings confidence. When you know that you know that you know that God have your back, you can go and begin to speak to circumstances and say, you mountain, be moved. As for me and my house, we are for signs and wonders in Israel. I know that weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Unless you have contact to the way, the truth, and the life, the journey might be tortuous. I know that he took my infirmity, bore my sickness in his body, the judgment that brought peace to me was upon him, and by his stripes I have been made whole. I know all of this because I have contact to him. O oh Lord, thou knowest, remember me and visit me and revenge me of my persecutors. Take me not away in thy long suffering. Know that for thy sake I have suffered rebuke. Thy word were found, and I did at them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by thy name, O oh Lord God of hosts. You have to be called by the name of the Lord. God has to be your son name. Then you can change your life from the status of ashes to that of beauty. Beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. That is what it says. Beauty for ashes. How many of us want our life to, to be in the, in the realm of beauty instead of ashes? Hmm? How many of us want to rise from the ashes and become a signature of all eyes? Beauty for ashes. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentile, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double everlasting joy shall be unto them. Double everlasting joy shall be unto them when they know the Lord. For I the Lord love judgment, I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. 
if you want God to make everlasting covenant with you, you must come unto God. God is always with us, but we have to embrace him. Come unto me, all you that labor, and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Come unto me, if you know you have a burden that is troublesome, that is keeping you in the status of ashes, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. If you are laboring and you have heavy, heavy, you are heavy laden, he say, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. It shall come to pass in the last day that the burden shall be taken from off thy shoulder and the yoke from off your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed by the reason of the anointing. The unction to function, the unction to knock out the enemy, to trash them to the ground, the unction to destroy every content that brings contamination, every content that brings contention, the unction can you get when you come to the owner of the road and he will make an everlasting covenant with you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runs into it and they are safe. Have respect unto your covenant, O Lord, According to the greatness of your power, preserve those that are appointed to die. You will not die in this condition that you are now. God must change your level, but you have to come to him. When the enemy shall come in like flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Receive the power to matter in your life, the power to fulfill your destiny. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord has blessed. When the ends of the Lord is upon you, everybody will acknowledge that you are a seed that is blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. For he hath clothed me with the garment of salvation, he hath covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decked himself with ornament, and, his, and, as, and as a bride adorned herself with her jewels. For as the herd bringeth forth a bud, and as the garden causeth the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nation. Hmm. So, the Lord will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Those that know their God shall be stronger and do exploit. A glorious high throne from the beginning is my place of sanctuary. How to step out of ashes and assume the status of a beauty. God can beautify your life. But you have to take a step of faith and come unto him. Let God beautify your life. Let Jesus Christ of Nazareth change your story. Let the light of light shine, light of life shine upon you. Let the beauty of heaven cover you. Let the glory of the Lord rise upon you. Come unto Jesus. He is the owner of life. He is the master of the universe. He has the key of David. He can open all doors. He can shut down any door. He, has, he will give you a power. And that power is the power of control. You know what the power is? Whatever you bind on earth is bind in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth, you will lose in heaven. When you come to the Lord, He will give you this power. To them that know 
God. He has given the power. You will tread upon serpent and scorpion and all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall by enemies hurt you. The power of life and death is in the tongue. All of these privileges are available when you come to the owner of the road. I'm the, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and the life. You have to be determined to come to the owner of the road. You have to be determined to come to the source of life. You have to be determined to embrace the salvation opportunity that the blood of Jesus has availed unto us. The gospel, the truth, the life. The apostle said, I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it's the power of God unto salvation. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because that is the power of God unto salvation. He has thrown my hands for war and my fingers for barrow. A bow of brass is broken by my hands. By my God, I can run through the troop. By my God, I can leap over a wall. He has trained my hands for war and my fingers for battles. Hmm. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek, He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. That is the message to you. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. You have to be determined to come to the Lord. Because he says, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. He has trained my hands for war. Because the Lord had anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Opening of the prison to them that are bound. Are you bound? Are you satisfied with your life? Are you okay with your present situation? Do you desire for positive change? Do you want God to catapult you from zero to the status of a hero? From shame to fame? From zero to hero? From nothing to something? From the level of foolishness to the level of wisdom? From ignorance to knowledge? If these are all your desire, I stand at the door, I knock. If you open for me, I will come in and dine with you. This is the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is making a clarion call unto you. Will you open the door of your heart and embrace the one that can change your life? This is an opportunity of a lifetime. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that anyone that will believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. This is my story. This is my message. This is my appeal to you. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, He is my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Swallow your ego, swallow your pride. Do not reject the passionate call of your maker. Make amend, embrace the Lord, then you will get beauty for ashes. Be determined, be resolute, take your time, make a resounding decision. This decision, many of us made it long time ago, and that is why we are still alive today. Without 
the power of life and death in my tongue through Jesus Christ, by now I'm gone. When the enemy shall come in like flood, the Spirit of the Lord has been lifting up a standard against them from time to time, on a daily basis. There is no enchantment against Jacob, no divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said, what the Lord has wrought in Jacob, what the God of David has done. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of Jesse, the rose of Sharon, the root of David, the bride and the monster. The one that opened a door that no one can close, the one that closed a door that no one can open. This knowledge is fantastic and superior. I have this boldness that whenever I speak in his name, the enemy have no chance. He took my feet out of the Mary clay and placed it upon a solid rock. This is my story. Hmm. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the heart and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shall know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. They shall not be ashamed that wait for the Lord. Those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They will run and never be weary. They will walk and never be tired. They will mount up with wings like eagles. Hmm. It goes further. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with them that contend them with thee And we contend with them that contend with thee, and I will save your children. That is the promise of God. I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunk with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, I am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. The world shall know that I am your Redeemer the mighty word of Jacob. <laughs> Who is he that saith a thing and it come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? Who is that person that says something and that thing came to pass or come to pass when God has not commanded it? Nothing happens if it did not move. Until God moves, nothing happens. He has trained my hands for wars and my fingers for battle. He knows me even when I was still in my mother's womb. When my mother was not yet born, he knows me. He knows my substance. He knows what we can do. He knows what you can do. You know, it is like when uh, a car gets uh, spoiled or is not in good order, instead of giving it to one quack roadside mechanic, it is better to take it back to the manufacturer and it will bring it back to factory setting. The same thing, our life, we can do better when we return to our manufacturer. He has all the spare parts, he has the solution. He has the key, he has the answer to all maladies, to all ailments, to all challenges, to all situations. He is the Alpha and the Omega, be determined.
to return to your maker. Journey back to Eden. Be determined to embrace the word of God. Be ready to embrace the king of glory. When he speak, fire comes out. When he breathes, there is a thunder. When he moves his hand, it changes everything. Let God be true and everyone be a liar. Aki unto me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bore you, for I call him alone, and bless him, and increase him. For the Lord shall convert Zion. It will comfort all our waste places and it will make our wilderness like Eden. God will turn your wilderness to Eden and a desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me, O my nation. For a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for the light of the people. Hmm. He says something here that is very fantastic. My righteousness is near, my salvation is gone forth, and mine arms shall judge the people. The result shall wait upon me, and on mine arm shall they trust. You have to be ready to trust in the helm of the Lord because the arm of flesh will fail you. The reason why we are still sitting in the midst of ashes is because we have all our life rely on the arm of flesh and the arm of flesh has been failing us continuously. My righteousness is near, my salvation is gone forth and mine hands shall judge the people. The Jesus shall wait upon me, and on mine arm shall be trust. You have to trust in the arm of the Lord, because the Lord will break the teeth of the wicked. He will break the arm of the wicked. Those that dig a pit will fall into it. Those that roll a stone, the stone will be rolled back at them. Heaven and heart will pass away, but the word of the Lord abide forever. Somebody asked me, say, when heaven and earth is no more, where will God then be? <laughs> My God will stand on his word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word is God. And it is that word I'm presenting to you today. Take it or leave it, we can do better when we embrace the light of God's word. We can do better. We can achieve better. We can stand out better when we stand with the truth. Hmm. To everything that is outstanding in this life, there is something under that is standing. When you stand on the word of God, the whole world will see you. It is then that your light will break forth and the whole world will see your shining. If you want to shine like a diamond, then embrace the word of God. Embrace Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm not ashamed to say this, because without him, who knows 
where will I be today? Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I that speak. <laughs> How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that seeth unto Zion, thy God reigneth. I'm telling you today, your God reigneth, your God rules over all the heart, is waiting for you. How to navigate and get beauty for ashes. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice, with the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Break forth into joy, sing together ye waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord hath comforted his people, he hath redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord hath made bare his holy harm in the eyes of all the nations, and all the hands of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Shall see the salvation of our God. He says something that I like, I like so much. Remember ye not the former thing. Forget the things of old. Behold, I do a new thing. Shall ye not know it? I will make a way in the wilderness. I will make rivers in the desert. Jackass and horse will worship me because I'm going to make a way in the wilderness. If you want light to attend your paths, if you want to evade darkness and embrace light, then come to Jesus, all you that labor and have laid him. He's going to give you rest with peace and joy. With gladness of heart, shall you draw water out of the rivers of salvation. Unless a child is born, this child has no future. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Kingdom of God starts from the heart. You can experience God on earth. The whole world is awaiting the manifestation of the children of God. And you are a potential child of God. You are a creation of God, but you have to take it further and become a child of God. As many that believe in Christ Jesus, they are permitted, they are given the opportunity of becoming son, daughter of God. Deliverance, healing, they are the children's bread. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. The same way you, likewise you, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Allow him to strengthen you. Allow him to build you up. There are a lot of beautiful promises for us. But if we don't come closer, how can we see what is happening in Christ? 
Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law, being made a cause for us, for it is written, Cause is everyone that angered on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentile through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. If you want to receive the promise of the Spirit, then run, rush to him that can save your soul. Rush to him that can save your soul. Peter says something. He said, where else can I go? Only you have the word of life. No wonder Jesus Christ built his church on Peter. Upon this rock will I build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail. If you do not want the gate of hell to prevail over you, you want to be free from the attack of the kingdom of darkness, take a decision like Peter. Only you have the word of life. I have no other place to go. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and they are safe. Those that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion. They abide forever. Nothing can move them. Like Apostle Paul, he said, none of this thing move me. I just want to run the race that is set before me, win the prize, achieve my goals, and stand tall for my Savior. Until a seed of corn drop to the ground, it cannot germinate, it cannot increase. Give your life to him, then he can increase you. Beauty for ashes. Beauty for ashes. So, number two thing you can do to get beauty instead of ashes, after you have given, after you've embraced the light, stay in the light. Stay in the light. Anyone that puts his hands On the weapons, any that anyone that put his hands on the weapons and turn back is not fit for the kingdom of God. Neither warm, neither cold, he said he will spill you out of his mouth. Stay with him, don't go back. Stay with the light, and the light will keep on shining. No going back. I will say of the Lord is my refuge, is my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Stand tall, stand firm, stay steadfast, no matter the storm, he will see you through. Look at the disciples when they were in the, in the, in the, in the ship, as long as as they stay with the Lord, the storm did not overcome them. When they were walking on the waters, as long as they stay on the, uh, they have their focus on the masters, none of them sank until they took their eyes off the, of the master. Then they begin to sink. Do not take your eyes off your master, Jesus. Then you will not sink. Do not lose your focus. Stay strong in the Lord. And you will get beauty for ashes. Embrace the Lord. Never go back from the Lord. Stay strong. Persevere. Stay consistent. Consistency and perseverance. No matter what happens.
that is the way to get beauty instead of ashes. Never go back. After embracing the light, never go back. That is the way and that is the life. Never go back. O oh, foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you, that ye should not obey the truth, before whose eyes Jesus Christ had been evidently set forth, crucified among you. This only would I learn of you, receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. Are you so foolish? Having been gone in the Spirit, are ye now made perfect by the flesh? Have ye suffered so many things in vain, if it be yet in vain? He therefore that minister to you the Spirit and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law or by the hearing of it. Even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. When you believe God, it will be accounted to you for righteousness. And don't forget, we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Because the word of God has come unto you. So, kind of repeat myself now. Number one, embrace the truth. Number two, stay in the truth. And now we go to number three. And number three is keep on growing in the truth. Not just stay stagnant. Because a stagnant thing will stink. Any stagnant water will stink. Know the truth. Stay in the truth and grow in the truth. That is how to get beautiful ashes, to be promoted from zero to the status of an hero, to move from shame to fame, and from nothingness to something else. He has the ability, the capacity, the tenacity to move you from your present status to where you are supposed to be. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. He has trained my hands for war and my fingers for battle. By my God, I can run through a troop. By my God, I can leap over a wall. He has trained my hands for war and my fingers for battle. This is the truth. This is the life. In my father's house, there are many rooms, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I should have told you. And now I go to the Father and prepare a place for you so that where I'm going to be, you too are going to be there.
your word is a light unto my path and a lamp unto my feet. And I will feed them that oppress you with their own flesh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Where can I go? Only you have the word of life. Hmm. Preserve me, O God, for indeed do I put my trust. O my soul, Thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, my goodness extended not to thee, but to the saints that are in the hurt, and to the excellent, in whom is all my delight. You can be God's delight when you try to grow in Him. You know, there are level of nutrition, there are meek of the word, there are meat of the word. Do not be contented with being a baby. Try to step it up and begin to grow in the Lord. These, these are the sure banker of how to get beauty instead of ashes. But I have trusted in your mercy, my heart shall rejoice in your salvation. When you trust in the mercy of God, for sure your heart will rejoice in his salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. O Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle, who shall dwell in thy holy hill. He that walketh uprightly, and walketh righteousness, and speaketh the truth in his heart, he that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is contemned, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord, he that sweareth to his own heart and changeth not. He that putteth not out his money to usury, nor take a reward against the innocent. He that doeth this thing shall never be moved. Abide in the Lord, never be moved. Stay put in the Lord. Come to him, stay in him, grow in him. These are the three steps. For getting beauty instead of ashes. If getting beauty instead of ashes is your desire, come to him, stay in him, grow in him. That is the whole truth. I shall not die, but live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He will restore my soul. 
he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Yes, yes, yes. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Come to him, stay in him, and grow in him. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Very important. Mark that. Dwell. Not just come and go, but stay put. Speak up, speak out, stay put in the house of the Lord. That is then your reward will appear. Come to him, stay put, abide in him, and increase in him. Stagnation is not the plan of God for anybody. Anytime we are stagnated in one particular place, we have to call on the God of heaven, Father, in the name of Jesus, take me out of this stagnation. Take me out of this cool desert. I don't want to remain at the same spot. Take me to the next level. Deliver me from the power of the enemy. The snare is broken. I escape like a bird from the snare of the fowler. My soul escaped from the snare of the fowler because my God has taken me out of the jailhouse of the enemy. Unto thee will I cry, O my God, my rock. Be not silent unto me, lest it thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle, draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity, which speak peace to their neighbor, but mischief is in their heart. My God, arise and deliver me from the grip of my enemy. Come to him, stay in him, grow in him. That is the way to go. Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplication. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I'm up. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save your people, bless your inheritance, Feed them also and lift them up forever. My God. This is where I'm going to draw the curtain today. And before I go, I feel like praying for you. You will not grow weary. You will not grow tired. You will fulfill your destiny. Your God will visit you. Heaven will smile on you. You will not fizzle out like smoke. The waters of life will not engulf you in the name that is above every other name, even in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Till I come your way next time, have a blessed day. God bless you. Bye.